Today, the, our topic is something the Muslims always they come and they try to make a mockery of us and what we believe. And remember, Islam is a mockery. Islam is nothing but a mockery. And today, I'm going to show you an example of the lies, the hypocrisy, the stupidity of those who defend Islam. I will bring you supposedly what the Muslims they claim. They copy each other, you know. All of them, they copy each other. In the front of me, there's Didat, and Didat supposedly, uh, you know, he is the first mockery person. And that's why some of you Christians, they say to me, why you use the same method with the Muslims? Because this is the language they understand. I'm not using mockery, actually. I'm just using their method to show them their stupidity. And today we'll do the same, as always. Here Didat is answering about Trinity. So look what he said. The Holy Ghost in Christendom is that He is one in a Trinity. But the Christian says that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. In his catechism, he continues that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. It continues your catechism. It says the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. That's what Brother Swagger says in his book person 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 but not three person but one person i'm asking stupid liar he did not say not three person see here the mockery start not a three person but one person we say three person one god a second ago you said he's a murder the son is a person the god the father is a person the holy spirit is a person and now you are saying they are not one person you just said he's one god Hear how the mockery work, and the Muslims right away they start laughing, ha 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 ha, because he just said something supposedly funny. But he just lied. This is not what we believe. Because you are inserting the word person when you speak about God, the one God. The person here in Arabic we say apnu, which means the present of God, the existence of God. God is exist as a spirit. God is exist as Father in heaven. Spirit is with us right now, everywhere. God is exist by the flesh as God. He came to us in the man, as a, in, the, in, the, in the form of a man. So, if you are saying that that is impossible, you are saying God cannot be God too. If you are making mockery, how that can be? That means how God can be God. Do you notice how stupid the logic? Are you saying this is a stupid? Impossible? So why you call God Almighty? We call him Almighty for he is God. He can do everything. Do you see the stupidity of the logic? The Muslims actually they are cursing their God, saying their God cannot be three, yet he is one. That is impossible for God to be. Their God is a potato. The dad is announcing to you, we have a fluffy God. He is a fluffy puppy. He cannot be three and one. He is one fluffy puppy. Well, are we talking about God or about me and you? What we can, what we cannot. Do you understand, guys? How the Muslims actually, they made us believe now that their God cannot be true God. Why? Because he cannot be three and one in the same time. It is impossible for him. It is not logical. What is logical about God? How? Okay, what is it logical that, just to show you the Muslims about how, how, how hypocrite they are. Is it logical that Jesus is the son of Mary and he have no father? Yes, it's logical, brother. Well, that is logical. How he can be a son Without father, have you ever heard of? Have you heard of one? Do you see the hypocrisy? Have you ever? Jesus is not God. Okay, but Jesus have no father. Will Adam have no father? You stupid. Adam is not born. You, 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 you. When I say the word donkey, I'm insulting donkeys. Was Adam born of a woman to have a father anyway? I mean, even with the Quran says Jesus is the same as Adam is a stupid example because in the Quran says how Adam was created. Adam was not created by saying be and he was. If we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find. It 
uh, Abdul Ali, we will answer you. Anyone who says kissing the cross is not pagan is a stupid. So why you kiss a black stone? First of all, show me where Jesus says go and kiss the, the, the cross. Guys, here we go. Just to show you how Muslims, they expose themselves. Where Jesus says go and kiss a cross. Is that in the Bible? Is that the teaching of Christ? Is that people, they do things. But this is not God teaching. But it's your prophet who kiss a stone and lick it, and the stone is in the shape of a vagina. So you are saying to me, it's a stupid the one to kiss a cross and he is not pagan. We will go with you. Pagan is the one who kiss items. Do you? Did your prophet kiss items and he kiss a black stone and he claimed that this is the right hand of Allah? This is how we spank them with no mercy. So what you notice right away that Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites when they defend the religion. They apply form on you. If you kiss a cross, you are pagan. But when they kiss the black stone, and it is a stone, at least if a Christian, he kissed a cross because Jesus, he died in the cross, it's said poorly for him. You kiss the black stone for what? <laughs> when I say stupidity is amazing, I'm talking about Islam specifically. The second you are a, a, a believer in this garbage, you start applying form on others, you don't apply it in yourself. So, if you ask Abdul Ali now, why your prophet he kissed the black stone, he will say to you, actually, I saw your text before I go live. You said it's from Allah. It's a gift. So you kiss it. What if Allah, he sent you a donkey? Mm, a donkey, it's your gift from Allah. You are a holy donkey. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> this religion is hilarious. So if we go to the Quran, you will see the, 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 uh, the God of Islam, Muhammad, he said, that the similarity between Isa and Adam is the same. Allah, he said to them, be and they were. What? This is really what happened? Are you, are you Thor? Muhammad the Barbur, are you Thor? This is the similarity. Where do you get this from? The similarity in between, uh, you know, uh, read this and laugh. The similarity between Adam or Jesus before Allah is the same as Adam. He created him from dust and he said to him, be and he was. Is that how Allah created Adam? If we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find the following. I'm trying to make the video shorter, but mission is impossible. All right, this is how Allah He created Adam according to Him. Where He said be? Do you see any be in the in the in the process? The angel they said to Him, "Are you going to create somebody from mud?" And show and make him a, 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 a molded shape. So Allah He did the statues, and then when we fashioned him, then we breathed into him. Where Allah He said be and He was. So the Quran is a chain of stupidity, a book of contradiction. This is a chapter three, verse number fifty-nine, and this is a chapter fifteen, verse number twenty-nine. They are totally contradict each other. Right? Somebody saying I am embarrassing myself. I will open my Skype soon for the for the brave one of you to see who is going to embarrass who. Just wait. We have more to come. Let us see when I open my Skype how many brave of you is going to refute what I said. So the that is making mockery about how God can be three and how he can be one. Well, how God can be God anyway? Why he is God? Why we call him God? Why we call him almighty? One of the description of Allah is Al-Qadr. What does that mean? The able. 
Is Allah able to be one? No. He cannot be one. Why? The Quran says, if we want to take a partner, we will take it from ourselves. How he can be one and he take partner from ourselves? And then the that he says, when you speak about God, you attribute to him in your imaginary a shape of a man. Listen carefully. In what language are you speaking? Yeah, in which language you are speaking? Language of God. In which language you speak when you say to me that Jesus is a son of Mary and she have no man? In which language you speak to me when you say Muhammad, he went to the seven galaxy in the top of a flying donkey? In which language you speak to me when you say Allah is one, but yet he have different shape? As Muhammad is in the hadith, Allah, he will change his shape. Why he is one, but he changed his shape. He was he's playing hide and seek. How Allah is one, but he was a fire in the tree for Moses. How Allah is one, but the Quran is not created. I'm asking, is that English? By God, it is gibberish. It's not English. Yeah, gibberish is the book, it's called Quran. It says in the Quran, nobody understand what Allah says, save Allah. Have you ever heard of a book sent to mankind? And this book saying that there's a huge part of the Quran, nobody knows what it's mean, save Allah. This is gibberish. Look who's talking. And the funny did that, by the way, he don't speak one Arabic word. You can go and see his video, you know, when he was speaking, an Arab guy, he was translating, he was saying, I don't speak Arabic. <laughs> you are talking about gibberish? You are talking about gibberish. This is gibberish. And the Quran confirmed that because Muhammad the thief, he was stealing somebody, somebody else's book. He could not explain his own Quran. So he said those verses in the Quran, nobody knows what means save Allah. That is gibberish. And those who they are firmly grounded in knowledge, they say we believe without knowing what they mean. Have you ever heard of a firmly knowledge people, they confirm without knowing? But none, no one knows it's hiding meaning except Allah. Do you see it? This is gibberish. And the Quran says clearly, this is gibberish. None. Do you see the word none? And the funny, the Muslim, they starts, no, we understand the Quran, brother. Eh? So the Quran line, even Muhammad, you do not know what the Quran is saying. None. And this guy talking about gibberish. And then, did that he continue with his hilarious stupidity, making us today laugh. By the way, this is the same guy he said in debate. Do you remember the Bible? The Bible says that God, he created the light in Wednesday, the sun in Wednesday. So the earth was without sun for four days. <laughs> How stupid is that? In which language you are talking to me? But this is what his prophet said exactly. Go and see. I made a video about it, actually. This guy is a scam. And the Muslim, they copy paste. Their prophet, he said exactly, this is why he did that, he don't debate, he debate only one time in Arab, and after that, the second debate, he ran away. This is what your prophet said. And this is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. Allah, he created the sun, the light in Wednesday. When in the Bible, actually, the first thing God created, it was the light. It is in Islam that there was no light totally. In the Bible says God he created the sun. After he created the light, the first thing he created, he said, let be light, and light was. But look here, the stupid that was making fun of the Bible saying that the sun created in Wednesday, but his prophet is copying exactly what it says there, but he missed the point by saying the light, it was not the light created in Wednesday, it was the sun. And the funny, the Muslims, if you ask them, they say, in Islam, brother, sit up. We don't believe that Allah created the earth in thick days. Thick days means thick period. So it's millions of years. 
You idiot, your prophet says Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Suddenly, Saturday is millions of years. Sunday is millions of years. Monday is a millions of years. Do you see the hypocrisy? Oh, I'm losing my internet, I hope not. Actually, this is the reason I was late, because my internet is not doing good. I hope you will not lose it. So here you see that when we speak to Muslims, they are lying about what they believe. They don't defend by telling the truth about their belief. They defend by making mockery about your belief. If we go back to Zakir, to Didat, we will see he's saying this. Continue, Didat. You see, you said person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, brother, swear God. You we don't say person, 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 not three person, one person. We say three person, one God. You see how he lie? You see how the mockery work? When we say water, 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 but we say ice, liquid, and steam is one. When we say the sun, the heat of the sun, the light of the sun is the sun. In which language you are talking, Christian friends? The language you should understand, you idiot. The sun without heat is not the sun. The sun without light is not the sun. It's a planet. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Jesus says, I will go and I will leave the spirit with you. When the sun comes to us, the sun is not arriving really from its place. The sun is a star is there. What we receive is the light. When the light arrive, we feel the heat. It's something we feel, we don't see. This is the Holy Spirit. So how it's possible even for a star to be three and one in the same time, but it's not impossible, it's not imp it's impossible for God to be three and one in the same time. And you will notice, you know, this is why when you want to debate a, a Muslim, don't go where there is a crowd, all of them are Muslims, because they would do mockery. Ha 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 ha. You have just made a mockery of yourself. My God, he can be three and one in the same time. You are saying to me it's impossible because you are not talking about God. For God is nothing impossible. For my God is almighty God. Your God cannot be God. Look what your God, he said about himself in the stupid Quran. How Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? He did not even use the word wife. Can you believe it? How Allah can has a son or have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Because this is Allah, my God, he can have a son without having a girlfriend. Read this verse so we can understand the nature and the capability of Allah. Allah is a potato, is a phrase, is a word, is not exist. Read carefully. To him is due the primal origin of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a son when he has no concert? You see, it's not me who's saying that, the Quran. Were you stupid? So how Jesus can be the son of a woman she have no boyfriend? In one side, Muhammad the fool, he stole a story from the gospel that Jesus is a son of Mary, she, his mother is a virgin. And God made her have a son without a boyfriend or husband. Yet Allah, and he is the God, he cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. So my God, he can, your God cannot. So we are not questioning really if God can be one or three, we question the ability at the same time. Your God cannot. Can my God have a son without having a girlfriend? Yes, he can. The proof in the Quran. Jesus, the son of Mary, in the Quran, is a son of a virgin. So you cannot deny that. You see, and this is why, by the way, the Muslims, they don't make fun of you Christians, because have you ever heard of a Muslim saying, hey, hey, Christian, you stupid. Do you believe really that Jesus is son of Mary without a man, you stupid people?
But he don't, they don't say that. Why? Because the Quran confirmed that. Just because Muhammad, he says that, suddenly it's logical. Nobody want to debate it. Nobody want to refuse it. Nobody want to question it. Just because Muhammad says so. Do you see the hypocrisy of the hypocrite cult? You will never find a Muslim asking you why Jesus have no father. Just because Muhammad, he said so. If Muhammad, he said that Jesus is the son of God, Muslim, they will say, yeah, this is true. Hypocrites. If you are questioning how that can be, then question how this is can be too. Then you question how Jesus until now is alive. Can you? No, they will not question. They will say God is able to do anything. So how God can be able to do anything, but he cannot have a son? No, he cannot. The Quran says, how can he? You see, it is your Muslim translation. It's your Muslim word. It says, how can he? What can mean how he can be able to do so? It's in the front of you. We go back to the that because we have a we have a movie. All identical. We can't make out the difference. If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? Well, in Islam, yes. The Quran says, "Free for a free, slave for a slave, woman for the women." So if I kill a slave of somebody, you kill my slave. <laughs> Look who's talking. You see, this is why they don't debate us. They, they, they run away from us. They debate people who do not know anything about Islam so we can get them busted. Isn't it your Quran says a free for a free, slave for a slave, women for the women, in the case of murder? And we can go right now to the interpretation and you will see it says, if a free man kill a slave, a free man will not be killed. A slave of the other man will be killed. Hmm? So the one who commit the murder will not be killed. But his slave will be killed. The Muslim, they will say to you, brother, this is abrogated. This is additional proof that Allah is a fraud. Muhammad, he made this verse. People, they start laughing at his justice. So he abrogated. How you abrogate a murder justice? What, Allah, he found that he is wrong? Allah went to bed or to the bathroom and he come with the result. He said, what an idiot I am. How I will do it and would do that. How I said that. I should change it. Let me change it. Let me change it. Let me delete it. Free for the free, slave for the slave, woman for the women. So if I kill your, uh, if you kill my wife, I go and kill your wife. Or I kill, or I kill the guy who killed my wife. Strip it. Donkey. Chapter 2, verse 178, the Muslim, they will say, doesn't say that, CP. You know them. But guess what? We have their own books. They cannot run away from this. It doesn't say that, CP. Habibi. Habibi. It doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> Read with me carefully. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is not a Christian prince saying, Christian prince is lying to you. It doesn't say that, CP. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. <clears throat> oh, it's obligatory for you in the relative sin that they call of regarding slain, both attribute one is slain and the other is ruler. Okay, a free man. Is killed for a free man, not for a slave. People, do you see it? Shall I zoom in? Huh. Let us zoom in because it's too part of the. A free man is killed for a free man, not for a slave. So the dad was making fun. If somebody kills somebody, we we kill the one who the other person. Yes, in Islam we do. Coward liar. We continue with the dad 
who was for many years muted, he cannot even open his mouth. You say no. No, in Islam you say yes. I'm asking why not? So you tell me that he's a different person. I say right. I say right. I say right. So why Allah, he said, Allah Prophet said that in the judgment day, Allah will bring the Muslims and they have mountains of sin in the top of them. He placed it in the Christians. Right. You see the liars? They are preaching something have nothing to do with Islam. Just to win an argument by a mockery. But by doing that, today we are laughing at them and showing you with evidence and proof that they are a fraud. What makes him different? His personality. So His personality is different. His personality. Uh, you want to talk about personality? Here we go. We just showed you God. He says something in the morning. He changed his mind afternoon. What kind of personality is that? Just let me show you this. Uh. <laughs> in chapter 2 the same chapter actually we are reading from now chapter 2 106 it says none of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten but we substitute something better or similar have you ever heard of a donkey speaking better than this something similar better Allah will make better Quran than the Quran. Allah will make better order than his order. Allah is competing with Allah. What kind of personality he have? How you say Allah is one person, but yet he make wrong decision and he decide to fix his decision by making something better or similar. And what make it more stupid when he say similar. What the heck? Brother, I'm going to burn your car and I will give you a similar car. So why are you burning my car? Because I want to give you a similar car. What? Brother, I'm going to destroy your wife and I will give you the same wife. Huh? Brother, I'm going to burn your house, three bedroom, one bathroom, and I will give you a house, three bedroom, one bathroom, the exact same design. What? What's wrong with the personality of Allah? Something better or similar? Here Muhammad, because he is a fraud, he cannot repeat the same verse twice, and he keeps changing his mind, or he forget what he says. And look, the Quran says, we cause none of our revelation, we do abrogate all cause to be forgotten. Like, what? So you send revelation and you cause it to be forgotten, but the Muslims they say, we have the Quran in our heart for that. The Quran saying we cause it to be forgotten. Why Allah He sent revelation and He caused it to be forgotten? Is that because a shameful, stupid idiot? But if we go and read the interpretation for this verse, things will get more horrible. Shall we go there? See, I said to myself today, I will make just 20 minutes uh, talking. I will talk a quarter from Muslim and that I have to go. But look, here we go. I mean, it's impossible. I hate it. Chapter 2, 106. The same chapter. Okay? Hmm. Let us laugh together. Muhammad, he says something at night. He changed his mind in the morning. This is Muhammad. Hmm. Read carefully, guys. Read carefully. This is Muslim books. This is not the Jews. This is not the Hindus. This is not the Christians. This is their biggest imams and sheikh, Tafsir Jalalain. When the disbelievers began to dear the matter of abrogation, saying huh, that one day Muhammad he enjoy his companion to one thing, and then the next day he forbid it. <laughs> it took him less than twelve hours to forbid what he said. Less than 12 hours. He say it afternoon. He changed his mind in the morning. 
The dad is saying what kind of personality you have. Will you tell me? What is the personality of your God? There's many names for those illness. The person he think he is two people, so he wanna correct himself. There's a movie, it's called The Perfect Host. The guy, he sent letters to himself. And then he answered himself. And then he have sex with himself. And then he invite people and he talk to them. But there is nobody there. That is Allah. Do you see how easy to get Islam busted? I mean, how easy it is. Ask yourself a very simple question. What kind of God? He says something after noon, he changes it in the morning. Like in the case of murder. I mean, it's case of murder. It should be fit for every time. Murder is a murder. How that can be? You change it in the morning because people, they complain that this is stupid. So you decide, oh, this is stupid. I need to change it. Or he's a fraud. So Muhammad is a fraud and there's no question about that. And those who defend him, they are defending the fraud. This is why we are laughing at them actually because they are defending the fraud. How you can defend the fraud? Here we go. You look like a fool. And then the dad, he say, brother, when you talk like this about God, you imagine a human being. Words, they conjure up mental pictures. When you say in the name of the father, you have a certain mental picture of that old father Christmas, Santa Claus, millions and millions of times bigger than man, but something like a man sitting on some planet with his feet dangling onto the earth as his footstool, the heaven as his canopy, the loving father in heaven. Did he say foot stone? Did he say sitting in a chair? Did he say all those are in the Quran? All of those is in the Quran. He is saying that you as a Christian, if you believe in this, you are imagining Santa Claus. But all those are in the Quran. And guess I have here, actually I was just searching for a video about, uh, uh, you know, uh, Allah have hands. And I found a very uh, funny video from a, uh, a girl, her name is Fifi. Uh, um, what was the word? Or literal. Now, the term, Yadahu, uh, Again, what do what do the Jews say? They say the hand of Allah, all right? The Allah hand of Allah. Allah. Specifically, they say the hand of Allah is chained. Allah responds, no, both his hands are extended. Subhan both, both. Both, both Allah, both brother, both Allah have two hands. But Zidat is saying, this is funny. You are imagining a human being then. I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And as you see, we Christians, we believe that God can be in three person, yet he is one because God is almighty. If God cannot be three and one in the same time, because it, it, according to your logic, this is impossible, then you are saying that there is something impossible for God to do or to be. And that against the term and the understanding of what God is, God is a miracle. God is almighty. So if we call him almighty, but yet he is not almighty, for he cannot be three and one, for that is impossible according to your thinking. That's mean God cannot be God. My God can be three and one in the same time, for he's almighty God. Your God cannot. Your God cannot be a spirit, but he have two hands. And we heard the Muslim, he says, it's not fit for Allah to have hands, but this is what the Islam teach. It's not fit for Allah to have legs, but this is what Islam teach. It's not fit for Islam to believe that Allah have five fingers, but this is what Islam teach. Muslims, they are trying to design a new Allah, fit for them. We Christians, we believe in Almighty God. You believe in someone, it's not fit for him. You are trying to design your own God in your own way. You are rebelling even against your God teaching. You don't want to be to believe that Allah have hands when the Quran and the Hadith.